Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Wild Blue Lager. This is a lager beer infused with blueberry syrup. 8% alcohol, 240 calories. This is a heavy beer. Introduced in 2005 by a company called Blue Dog Brewing also known as Anheuser-Busch. <laughs> they use two row and six row barley malt. They use Willamette hops from the Northwest US and Hallertal hops from Germany. And blueber blueberry syrup made from blueberries. And it said it might contain blueberry sediment at the bottom. I bought this at Rouse's in the Gentilly area of New Orleans. Tuesday, no, oh, I'm sorry, Wednesday night. Eight out of 100 on rate beer, a 31 out of 100 for the style. Beer Advocate says it's awful, and the bros say it's awful. It's interesting, the bros, they, they might review something like this, but then you might look up uh, Eying or Celebrator. No reviews from the bros, I don't get that. Twist cap, that's convenient. Same style bottle as Budweiser, you could tell, or natural ice. Same Anheuser-Busch standard brown bottle. Oh, look at all that water vapor coming out. That says this was produced on July 17, 2014. So they put the date, guys. Look at all that vapor. Holy smokes. I can't stand to drink juice, really. I forced myself to drink it like I drank some apple juice this morning, but so people will say try this, try that, and I say I don't want to try this flavored. My daughter was bragging on this. She likes flavored beers. Most women I know like flavored beers, and if you like them, that's fine. And I, I have to be careful because when I review them, I might say, ah, oh, you know, I could be tempted to say it's bad when it's not bad. It's just my personal preference. And I don't want my opinions or my preferences to influence my um, evaluation of the quality of the product. Okay, um, well, it has a crackly head. It was fair, fairly thick, and it's like a pink head huh? for October. Okay, a pink head and a red appearance, or like a ruby red appearance. Put it in this single glass. I like this single glass. It's a nice little glass. Then I'll probably break it one day on accident. <laughs> I know Jeff Lyons was saying, oh, he broke his, his left glass. He was so disgusted. He's with New England Beer Reviews. Or I should say he is New England Beer Reviews. N-E-B-R. Well, okay, this smells like lager beer with grape, with blueberry syrup in it. I mean, literally it does here at 8.30 a.m. It's got pungent barley malt. Just, just the slightest bit of hop resin. And some acidic blueberry uh, juice aroma. Doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell fake. It smells like a natural product. Not to say I'd want to drink it, but let's go with it. Well, it's certainly not awful like they're saying on Beer Advocate. They're saying it's awful, but then they say natural light and natural ice. That's what I want to say first. Well, they say both. Natural light and natural ice are awful. They're not awful. This is not awful. This is not even bad. First, it's very blueberry oriented. I mean, there is the beer, there un there's the underlying barley malt, okay? Now, I know there's some other flavors in this uh, wild line. 
thing like a raspberry. I didn't look at all of them, but um, they're not really too common around here. I don't know. This whole line might be discontinued soon. It didn't look like the uh, website for this beer was too functional. It had a locator on it, and I clicked it in, and it didn't work, which is usually a sign that it's on the way out, as which as what happened with Bud Dry four years ago going on five years um, and then you get this fruit coming in and it's very thick this is not like a, a beta purple haze which is so light you know compared to and light bodied and you, just, you get a shade of raspberry no this is like this comes on strong it's eight percent alcohol um, so it's a strong blueberry syrup, but it but it's not as like you know like that Samuel Adams cherry wheat that my neighbor across the street. I brought it to her. She said, "Oh, <laughs> she didn't like it too much." She's a fan of natural ice, by the way. See, because she doesn't really study beer at all. She just drinks it and enjoys it. And so, I've brought her good stuff like a Sierra Nevada Torpedo, and then she said, "Oh, that's pretty good." But why don't you bring? Why don't you bring me natural ice or ice house? Something that I really like. <laughs> she doesn't realize she's not supposed to like those two beers. Um, yeah, that that uh, Samuel Adams cherry wheat has that Vicks cough syrup thing going. This does not have any of that. But it is heavy bodied. I mean, this is heavy syrupy slick and filling 240 calories the finish is kind of wet syrupy heavy uh, I mean this is 8% alcohol we're talking natty daddy what you know about that and we're talking um, ice house edge category right hurricane high gravity so this is this is coming at you like that this would be like taking a uh, natty daddy natural father and putting pureed blueberries in it so it this is not I don't I don't women like this so uh, you know they don't usually I, I don't know too many women that would be like regular natty daddy drinkers regular natty daddy drinkers you heard me so um Maybe they have a, a food pairing on the Anheuser Busch website with this, so that probably would make sense. This would be a one thing, a one night thing. I mean, I couldn't see drinking a session of this. Maybe one, and then calling it off. I mean, one is enough for me in my life, um, for sure. But uh, that's just my bias, or I shouldn't say bias. My personal preference against these fruity beers. So, for a fruit beer. A high gravity fruit lager. It's far from awful. It's probably more like excellent. No joke. No joke. I mean, it's this is doing everything correct. I don't know. Somebody firing a gun up. I don't know what the complaint would be. So for beer overall, I I don't feel comfortable giving it a score because it's so unusual that I don't think it would really um, be fair but if I did give it a score for beer overall it wouldn't be a bad score so not something I want to drink but um well done anyway so laissez les bon temps roule a good uh, concoction and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come come on down to sunny dry and autumnal southeastern Louisiana go Tigers die or miss die just kidding you know to my Mississippi fans <laughs>